is an interesting experiment. Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie, welcome. Today I'm doing a really fun experiment between mousse and gel. Now if you know me, I have always been a gel girl, not for any specific reason other than that is just what I started with at the beginning of my natural hair journey. I've recently been seeing all these different mousse stylers come out, so I'm like, oh, let's Let's give it a try, why not? So in this video, I'm doing two different wash and go stylings. One with gel and one with mousse on two different sides of my head. And then we're gonna contrast and compare and see which one's better or if anyone's better. Can you guys guess from like right now which side is which? If you're interested in seeing what products I used, how I applied them, and then which one I think might be better, then just continue to watch. To the bathroom, let's get started. Ta -da! So I am fresh out of my shower right now, like fresh. Just washed my hair and there is zero product in it right now. I just did like a regular co-wash and that's it. And so I'm basically just going to go ahead and kind of divide my hair into two halves. We're going to do mousse on one side and a gel on the other. Alright, so let me go ahead and clip up one of these sides. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with gel on this side first, just because that's what I'm used to. So for styling, I'm gonna be using a leave-in conditioner and a gel, and I'm actually gonna be using the same leave-in conditioner on both sides of my hair, just so I can make this as like fair as possible, just for like comparison purposes. So for the leave-in conditioner, I'm using the Curls Blueberry Bliss Leave-In. And then for gel, I'm gonna be using my little Old Faithful Kinky Curly. Y'all have seen me speak about this a lot. This is my ultimate like curl defining gel. If I want super defined curls, this is what I'm reaching for. This gets me right 100% of the time. I pretty much really wanted to use this gel because it's very familiar to me. I've used it before and I just think it would be great for comparison purposes against the mousse just because I haven't really used mousse much. I know exactly what to expect with this so it'll be good to really just contrast and compare and see how different my curls actually look. So the top half of my hair here has clearly started drying already and y'all know I like to apply my styling products for a wash and go while my hair is dripping wet. I mean it's still dripping but I need all of it to be dripping. So I'm going to go ahead and re-wet it and then go in with the products. I'll be starting with the leave-in conditioner first and the gel on top. Alright, so the gel side is done. You can see there is like immediate curl definition happening here. Um, when I actually feel my curls, like you can feel the curls starting to define. Like you can feel the gel really hugging my curls. And so I can already tell that, I mean, I've used this before, so I already know, but like you can tell the difference in how it feels that it's like snatched, it's being held. <laughs> And here's a little close-up of how we're looking so far. Very, very minimal frizz, which I'm pretty happy with. So I'm really interested to see if I'm gonna get that same effect from mousse. All right, I gotta remember, right side gel, left side mousse. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Same thing, I'm gonna re-wet my hair again and then go in with the leave-in conditioner and then mousse on top. The mousse that I'll be using is the Miel Babasu Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Mousse. All right, so I can already tell a huge difference. Look at the difference here. You can already see a huge difference. Like, this is defined, shiny, slick to the gods. And this is defined, like don't get me wrong, there are curls there, but it's already like bigger than the other side. I don't feel that level of hold. Now this is exactly what I was expecting. Obviously just from looking at the consistency, gel is obviously a lot heavier, so you would think it would be more effective as a hold, versus mousse, which is very light and airy and kind of bubbly and liquidy. Now does that mean mousse is bad? Absolutely not. The big test is gonna be for when this dries. Like if mousse can give me a good level of curl definition, but also some big volume, that's awesome, because I love me some big hair. Is it just me, or is this side also not as shiny? Like, look at this, and then look at this. Like, it's not, it's not terrible, but it's just not as shiny as the gel side, so that's another thing that I'm noticing. 
As of right now, I'm kind of leaning towards my gel, but I feel like that's kind of natural because the gel is what I'm used to. Like, I know exactly what the side is going to look like in a few hours. I don't know what to expect from this. I'm a little bit worried about what kind of frizz might be waiting for me underneath. I mean, there's a little bit there. There's not anything crazy right now, so it's not like a cause for concern or anything, but it's just bigger, which, I mean, bigger is always better, so... But anyways, like I said, the real test is going to be when both sides dry. So I'm going to go ahead and allow them to dry, just air dry by themselves. I'm actually not going to use my diffuser. So I will be back, probably looking a lot cuter. I'll probably style my bangs and all that good stuff. And then I will be back to discuss the final results. Peace. Here we are back again. So I haven't really done anything. I was planning on kind of fixing up my hair and making it look all cute. But instead, I decided to keep the two parts separate straight down the middle. This, this middle part, by the way, doesn't look too bad, huh? I don't know. I have a little bit of mixed feelings. I feel like it's difficult because there's good things for gel and bad things for gel, and then there's good things for mousse and bad things for mousse. So let's go through all of it. I guess we can talk about mousse first, which is this side. So to me, like the mousse side is looking like maybe day three hair for me with gel. So I don't know right now, like day one mousse, She's cute because she's big, she's got volume, so I've got a cute little shape going on here. I still do have some curl definition as well, and I would say, like, it's still pretty minimal frizz. I was a little bit worried that um, I was going to be a lot more frizzy because, like I was saying when I was applying it, it didn't really hold my curls the way that I was used to with gel. Y'all can see, like, this is, like, defiant. Okay, like this is like slightly crunchy, but again, kinky curly, I know how it works, that's how it is. The crunch, like that little cast kind of goes away and it just leaves you with some beautiful flake-free defined curls. The one thing that I personally feel like the gel has over the mousse is that it offered a lot more shine. So curl longevity as well as more shine is really the main good points about the gel that it kind of has over the mousse. However, the gel side obviously took longer to dry, so it still is a little bit damp in the back, whereas the mousse is like literally all the way through to my roots is completely dry already. I do feel like maybe the gel was able to lock in moisture a little bit better, so the same way that the gel was able to coat and define the curls. It also locks in moisture at the same time. So when I'm feeling my curls right now, just like with my hands, this side feels more moisturized. This side doesn't feel dry, but if I had to compare the two, I would say the gel side feels a little bit more moisturized. So honestly, I feel like I can't pick a favorite. I can't say, oh, I prefer gel over mousse or vice versa. I will grab my mousse if I'm looking for day one volume. Like I know that it's gonna give me day one volume and also a wash day that's gonna dry quickly. If I know I gotta be out of the door with dry, big, beautiful curls, then yes, mousse is what I'm gonna grab. On the other hand, for the gel, if I know that I need to wash my hair on Sunday and not have to worry about it again until at least Friday, I am going to grab my gel. It's going to offer you a lot more longevity, like the hold is just another level and the shine that comes with it is also incredible. I feel like summer is when I will gravitate towards my gel. It just gets so incredibly hot and humid during the summer that the gel is really going to be that thing to just slap those curls into place, keep the frizz away, and keep them nice and defined and shiny. I think that mousse would have a hard time um, standing up to summer heat and summer humidity. So yeah guys, that is pretty much my thoughts. I'm so glad that I actually tried out mousse because it's something real different and you know, I was actually pleasantly surprised by the mousse. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, as usual, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe. I gotta say it every time. I gotta make sure that you guys are being notified every single time a bomb video comes out. I don't want you to miss out. So if you're about to subscribe, go ahead and do that. And right after, you can check out these next two videos. That's great. You're welcome. So I will catch you in the next one. Bye.